Hello you Dirty Potters, how are you today? Today I have something very, very exciting to show you that I have been working on for quite some time. Well, technically speaking, someone else has been working on it, but I'm kind of just like helping you realize this new technology is out there. For those of you who have been with the channel for quite some time, you know that I love doing pit fires. Pit fires are essentially where you take your bisqueware, put them in a pit, set them on fire, and they look fantastic afterward. They look a bit like this. They're really cool, but most of the time they're used for artistic purposes. This is because pit fire, whether bisque or not, is generally not considered food safe by food safety standards. It still technically has a level of porousness to it. The reason that we put our stuff from the bisque into the glaze load is because we can put a nice layer of silica, quartz, and colorant over it, making it look pretty while food safe at the same time. This is what usually happens when we take our stuff out of the glaze kiln. But human beings are advancing in food safety day by day, and a company called Made of Australia has claimed to make a quartz sealer. I've been testing it for about a month or two, and it totally works. Enter Liquid Quartz. This product is made by a company called Made of Australia and it works really well. We recently did a pit fire on the channel. It went great and I have some of this for about three months saved up in my garage just waiting for the day to test it. And you can see a lot of the bottles already gone because I have been testing it for a couple of months already. It tells you exactly what it is on the front of the bottle, it tells you the food safety standards on the right, and it tells you how to use it all the way on the left of the bottle. And it's actually extremely, extremely easy to use. The first time I used this stuff, I was like, I don't, I don't know if this is working, but it does work. The only way I found out about this company is because they sell pit fireware from their website themselves, along with this product, and it blew my mind. I was like, you can't, can't sell pitware until I did a lot more research. Turns out you can, as long as you make sure it's food safe and seal it with some liquid quartz. Which when you think about it, is exactly what we do when we put our stuff through the glaze load. We just use heat to fuse those two things together instead of using a liquid product. It's also extremely easy to use. All you do is get your pit fireware, get the sprayer, and spray it on there just once. And you can see it absorbs it really, really quickly. But if you keep spraying, sooner or later, it'll bead onto the product. Once it beads and stops absorbing, that means it's absorbed as much as it possibly can to make it food safe. I actually didn't believe this at first, so about a month ago I got some pit fireware and sprayed it on one spot, left it for a while just to absorb, and then I sprayed it again. You see this little spot here is already sprayed with the liquid quartz sealer, although the other spots are not sprayed. So if I spray it over here, it'll most likely absorb really, really quickly. But this spot, the spot that's clearly already sealed right here, if I spray it a second time, it kind of just beads off. It's absorbed as much as it can already. This is essentially how I can tell that it's already sealed. Personally, just to make sure that everything is sealed, I like to pour it right inside of a vessel and roll it around into another vessel, just like this. And because there's no over layering or over glazing and it just beads right off like water, there's no danger in overusing the product. So like when I glaze and I over layer my glaze, there's a massive danger of it dripping or running off the kiln shelf. This stuff is so good that I can just kind of like do this over and over again. And any of the excess that doesn't get absorbed into the clay body pretty much just stays off and rolls right off because it's already as sealed as it can be. There was a pure second where I thought I got jebated and I was like, did they just sell me water? But no, water still keeps absorbing through bisque work, number one, so that's a, that's a telltale sign. And number two, I sprayed some in my mouth by accident and it did not go well. I was like, <laughs> that's not water, that's 100% not water.
When I first ordered this stuff made of Australia, I felt a little bit bad that I hadn't experimented with it too much. And I started to look for like a test group and I started to look for people to test it and information. And there were other people who have tested it out there, but I wanted to test it myself. So I literally tested it on myself. I ended up getting one of these cups myself, pit firing it, using it to drink out of, eat out of, microwaved it, put it in the dishwasher. It survived every test that I put it through. I even dunked it in water for about a day just to see if it would like somehow magically get rid of this stuff and it doesn't. This is the cup that I used and it still doesn't absorb any other liquid. It still has this space where if I spray more stuff on it, any liquid on there just kind of rolls off. I'm probably gonna be putting a lot of these in my store every single time I do a pit fire because now when I do a pit fire, I have a reason to do a pit fire. I can now sell the product on my website at earthnationceramics.com. Although this stuff is really, really expensive. I live in America, it had to be shipped all the way to me and it was quite expensive. So I'm trying to save as much as possible other than the giant mess I made here. You can also use this for other stuff. I had a tiny, tiny light bulb moment where I was like, can I just use this on bisque? Since pit fire is really just colored bisque. It's even fired lower than bisque, so why couldn't I? And I can. Remember this cup right here we did for the mica powder tests? This cup here is just straight bisque with a bit of mica powder and some underglaze on it. It has some white slip on it and some gold mica powder. I thought to myself, man, what am I gonna color this? I really don't wanna put it back in the kiln. It's gonna look super weird, but realistically, why can't I just put liquid quartz sealer on it? I can. There's no reason why I couldn't. Well, thank you, Dirty Potters, for joining me today. You know, I really just wanted to get the information out there that there is a company that makes liquid quartz sealer in spray form so that if you ever want to make anything that's not purely decorative, but let's face it, a lot of us are wheel thrown ceramicists, and we might want to make something artistic like a pit fire cup one day, but we don't want to make it for no reason because you can't really use it even though it's in the form of something functional. This is kind of the answer to those questions. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the company and the Instagram that makes this along with the information and the test studies that they've done to make sure this stuff is food safe. But thank you Dirty Parts for joining me today. I just want to put this out there. I am not sponsored by Made of Australia. They have no idea I'm doing this video at all. I just wanted to get this super, super cool product out there. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Good luck with your next kill note and I will see you dirty potters next week. Thank you for your patronage.